So just a quick update on my fuck up double IPA. Um, it was the one I was meant to do as pale ale and as I was weighing the grains out into a bucket on top of the scales, the bucket was resting on something. Ended up with a fuck ton of grain, um, chucking it in a grain file and it got thicker and thicker and I looked at the bucket and thought, I've still got about half as much again. So I stopped there, went along with the brew, I think it, OG was 1.068, so I thought sod it, did my first dry hop, then after that I just kept chucking hops in randomly, um, mostly mosaic, um, can't remember to be honest, it's pretty much mosaic, mosaic and more mosaic, um, oh and some Eldorado, just had a little bit of Eldorado, anyway, it came out 7.8%, looks lovely, as you'd expect, all that all that tropical mango fruit from the mosaic head's pretty good bitterness is it's not too bad um, I'd probably say 50 tops IBU which for a creamy smooth double IPA is quite mellow of course it, you wouldn't know this was 7.8% it's come out really well um, I took the keg to a barbecue, I think I've probably said this in my Umbra Wednesday, I took the keg to a barbecue, there was um, four or five of us that drink, quite happy to drink um, craft beer, um, my my beer anyway, so, and homebrew, <coughs> so, we pretty much smashed the keg, um, it got to a point, I'd forgotten the gas, um, I said all this in my homebrew Wednesday, anyway, just wanted to go through how this beer is. You feel the bitterness slightly, then it's almost sweet with mango, um, tropical fruit, lots of mango, and then smooth creaminess, and then uh, back, bitterness kicks back in again, making you want to go back for another drink. It is. Hello, pussy cat. Yes, you forgot. I forgot you like to be in videos. It is one of the most smashable, nearly 8% beers I've ever had. Very dangerous. Very lovely. I mean, it's carbonation. It's not bad. Like I say, we, in the end, we had to open the keg, pour it into um, a jug to book the lad, drink something. I've regassed it. I mean, it's obviously oxygenated. Oxygen. I do keep saying that. It's been oxidised to a degree, fair degree. But lovely colour. It's everything I want. My double IPA. So hopefully the mango lassi will come out even better. So I look forward to doing that. I, I would have sent some of these out, but as I say, I've oxidised the keg. By the time you get it, you chill it and such. Fucked. That's if there's any left. I keep saying I'm about done. So I keep expecting to kick every, any minute. But that. A nice beer. <coughs> totally unable to replicate. Haven't a clue where to go with that to do it again. So that was the other point because obviously I'd overdone the grains, but I'd done the, the water and the initial water and the sparge water all based on the initial grain build. So that explains why it's come out so big. Maybe we should do that more. Hmm, as I thought. Anyway, cheers guys, thanks for watching, taking the time, listen to me, waffle, bye.